Welcome to video number 10 SQL reporting service. In this video we are going to see what is shared data set in reporting service and how can we use it. So my Visual Studio is open like as usual and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new data set and I'm gonna call this guy as I'll let it be data set and I'll call this as generic alright and I'm gonna build a query so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add table customers and I say add I'll close it I'll select everything from the customer I execute it and I see like I'm getting 91 records and it's all good so basically I have a query okay now this guy is very much capable of holding all the records so I'm just calling this guy as a generic next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new item and I'm gonna call this report as my fourth report and I'll, I'll hit OK and then I'm gonna add a data set to this alright so I already have a use share data set so I'm gonna call this data set as uh, data set uh, I want to just basically I want to reuse this data set so I'll hit OK and the moment I do that uh, you can see the the arrow is pointing towards this guy right so basically this guy is nothing but this guy so now what I'm doing is I'll go to the toolbox and drag the table alright and this is my table <coughs> and in the report data I'll come back and I'm gonna drag this thing you know and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the city I'll now I want to group this whole thing as a city okay and once and I want to show the comp uh, the contact name and the address to rest of it all right and now I'll do the preview the moment I do the preview you can see the users are grouped based on the list of cities so if I scroll down you can see this is the city for which the users have been segregated and grouped very nicely all right so this is pretty cool so I'll do one thing I'll just hit add a new item again I'll say new report and I'm gonna call this guy as sorry uh, fifth report fifth report right I'll hit OK I'll come here I'll say add a data set and I'll say this is a data set city and I'll call this guy as uh, <coughs> country I guess I'll call this guy as country I'm not sure how it's gonna work and I'll say I'm gonna use this generic data set I'll hit OK and now I'll come up again to my toolbox I'm gonna drag a table in here <coughs> sorry and from the report database now this type I want to group by country so I'll put I'll drag the country just right above the details you see there's a blue line between row groups and details I'll put there and I'll put the contact name again and put the address again and I simply save it and I'll preview it so you can see that for there's a country Argentina so there are three people around in the Brazil there are a lot Canada there's a lot so basically what I'm doing is I got like bunch of reports going around like four fifth six and seven and I want to group the people you know uh, according I want to group them very nicely so in order to group them what I have done is I have used a generic data set using which you know I can uh, which can be used by report fourth or fifth in report fourth I had a requirement that I need to group the bunch of people by city and the fifth the requirement was I need to group them by country so instead of writing the whole new query and right click and add new set data set and write the whole query again and build the whole query I don't want to use that so in that case this shared data set helps and the shared data set is very much uh, you know smart enough if you double click on it it holds the connection of data source itself which I showed you in the last tutorial so this guy automatically has a hold of this guy and we are constantly using this guy for like I'm just doing just a group by you guys can do uh, different things like a table report matrix rectangle I mean a lot of things you can do with this thing so this was just a basic uh, generic data set so it depends on your requirement how do you want to use it so if you like this video then please subscribe and thank you for watching.